After his successful mission to investigate the power grid, with renewed confidence, Brad now turns his attention to the FEMA camp once more. The possibility of a huge hoard of food and other valuable supplies, that's just too tempting to ignore. So Brad has finally decided he's going to take on the FEMA camp. It is in a radiation zone. There are huge hordes of zombies. It is a massive task, a massive undertaking. But he feels ready for it. He does. He's got a hazmat suit. He's got three gas masks. He's got ten boxes of shotgun shells. He's got iodine pills. He's prepared. But can he pull it off? Okay, so this is it. We've just passed the power grid. We'll be entering into the radiation zone. Now, Brad has thought long and hard about this. Let's get a gas mask on. The hazmat suit is what protects him. That's what protects him from radiation sickness, but it also makes him move 30% slower. It means he walks slower than a zombie. Now, he does not fancy his chances of trying to negotiate a huge horde when he can't even walk quicker than the zombies. So we're going with the gas mask, we're going with the iodine pills. Hope he's got three gas masks, three iodine pills. Hopefully that will give him the protection that he needs. Now the other thing he needs to think about is an out. He needs to get out. If things go wrong, if things go wrong and needs to escape, he needs to have an out. And that means where does he leave? this vehicle that is a crucial decision so he's going to leave it a little bit of ways away from the FEMA camp he can't risk it being surrounded by zombies so we're going to leave it just up here past the crossroads but oh my god there are so many zombies so we're going to leave it in the car lot here let's just while well, we've got a moment let's just check um, body radiation now Brad's got everything he needs, hopefully. Man, that, that takes a long time. Let's just get out. Um, oh, Brad is panicking already because he's forgotten to turn off the truck. Wait, can we not measure the radiation whilst walking? What the hell? Okay, well, it's a relatively quiet start. Uh, here come the zombies, though. Okay, this, this is bad. This is bad. Well, I guess we get the... We leave the engine running. It will ensure a quick escape. Now, we've got the red, the iodine protects for five hours. The gas mask makes you more resistant to radiation. So what in, one thing that is not clear is, is Brad completely protected? That is the question that I needed to get answered and I don't know the answer. So he could, could be slowly dying even as we speak. Okay, well, it is time to ring the dinner bell. Uh, let's hope Brad can survive this. Now, we're going to almost certainly need to utilize that Molotov at some point. But let's see if we can do a good job of rounding up the zombies into a nice big mega horde. And then we set them alight. Okay, well, already that horde is looking absolutely huge so I'm kind of thinking let's get the ball rolling with the Molotov already so let's get that equipped primary uh, let's get the oh, let's not try and die uh, let's get um, a lighter equipped secondary and let's really get things going oh one where are the zombies no seriously where are the zombies okay hopefully that fire here yeah, there we go that's good that's a good start uh, let's let's actually take the opportunity to get in the truck and see if we can find somewhere. Oh yes, well yeah, that'll uh, make things interesting. Wow. Okay, now let's let's try not to get on fire. Well, it's all kicking off now. We got a horde on fire. We got zombies streaming into the area. Brad doesn't feel entirely in control. Now, can we measure the body radiation? Let's see if we can get a moment here. I want to see how much radiation Brad is taking right now. Okay, Brad doesn't seem to be taking 
any radiation damage at the moment. Um, we did start on just under 100. I know that. So let's 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 try and let's try and round them up in the van. Let's see if that works. This this military truck seems kind of almost um, unbeatable. But man, oh, we're gonna we're just gonna burn down this whole crossroads. That was a bad that was a bad start. Say goodbye to the spiffos. I mean, I can I can accept a couple of buildings being burnt down. Okay, I've got a feeling that if we want to really try and get this horde rounded up into some sort of cohesive mass, for want of a better word, we've kind of got to get out of this military vehicle, so we need to leave it somewhere. So I think we're going to... Yeah, let's go back to the crossroads and let's just drive a little bit up the road and then we'll come back in on foot. It's absolutely crucial that Brad's got an escape. And that is going to be the first of probably many, many, many death screens as the zombies slowly succumb to the flames. We're going to leave the van there, the truck, and we're going to try and get back into town. Try and really start rounding up these zombies. Okay, well this is also an opportunity for Brad to work on his aiming. Man, that was unnecessarily close. Well, that Spiffos is definitely going to burn. And we've got to try and now manoeuvre this horde of zombies. Wow, that's just... Okay, this is actually a bad idea. Let's not go down that way. There is fire everywhere. Okay, well, Brad feels like he came prepared. But he doesn't feel like he's in control at the moment. We've got beta blockers. Understandably, Brad is absolutely panicked out of his mind. I'm not really sure if trying to shoot the shotgun is a really good idea at this stage. Uh, but we've got to try and thin the... Wow, that is a big horde. We've got to try and make this as quickly as possible. Man, this is better. And let's see if we can bring this huge horde a little bit closer to the FEMA camp. Okay, let's try and thin the horde out again definitely like to try and not set fire to the gas station even if it's just for the crisps man we've got another death screen now let's you know what let's let's try and wow look at this dude he is absolutely packing let's try and get a bit of space and i'm encouraged by the complete lack of zombies up ahead let's measure our body radiation again Man, that is that is really slow. Ooh, so Brad is taking more hits, more taking taking more damage. He's on 194 rats. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe Brad should have a change of heart, and maybe he should go back for the hazmat suit. He's gonna have to do a lot more running. It is risky. We've got a bit of a moment to thin the horde with the shotgun. Okay, the iodine protection is almost over and also there is a big problem here this is a bad idea this road is really narrow there's a lot of trees either side Oof. okay i think brad's gonna have to go back for his hazmat suit and to get this job done properly you can't afford to take much more damage with the radiation and of course we've got a random group of zombies just chilling in the middle of nowhere. So let's take them down. See if we can get back to the truck. Okay, well of course there's always one zombie right by the truck. But we got this. Okay, well Brad's got his hazmat suit on finally. We're in the truck. We're protected from the fire, we're protected from the zombies. As I said, this truck seems to be absolutely unstoppable. That's another zombie gone down. Man, there's just fire zombies everywhere. This has just got totally out of control, really. There's zombies spread around everywhere. The car lot's probably going to go up as well. Let's see if Brad can get to the FEMA camp and see what the numbers are like there. 
Okay, so we're just coming up on the FEMA camp and there's nowhere near the zombies as I was expecting. Brad has got another Molotov. He's barely used. Oof, that is... He took a lot of damage there. It's a, it was definitely the right idea, the right option to... Um, man, there's not a lot of zombies here. It's definitely the right option to get the hazmat suit on. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to leave the vehicle there. We're going to get out. And we're going to switch to melee. And just... Oh man, Brad walks so slow. Let's just hope... Just hope it doesn't get any more death screams. We're going to try... Now we're going to leave that area to the north, up by the crossroads. We're going to leave all those zombies. Well, we're just going to leave that whole area to burn, aren't we? Really? Wow, I can't believe how hungry Brad is. Well, should Brad? Yeah, Brad's going to get in the car. He's out of here. He's out of here. Yeah, that was definitely the right time to get in the vehicle. Let's just try and work our way back to the crossroads. I think we need to just wait it out. We just need to wait it out with the zombies. We could do with uh, getting them back on fire again. Man, it's really difficult to plan when things just change like this at the drop of a hat. Okay, well you know what, Brad is gonna have to leave the area for just a moment. He's gonna take a right at the crossroads. He's gonna drive up there until it's clear. Um, he needs to, he's got a bag of food somewhere in the back of the vehicle. He needs to get some more food. He's really, really hungry. Reduced strength and healing. Okay, well, Brad's been able to regroup. He's found five cans of food. That should be enough to keep him going for at least, uh, well, who knows? Not very long with his record. But he's not going to be able to do much more tonight. He's tired. It's almost 10 o'clock. Although the flames of all the burning zombies will be a lot of light, it's going to start to get dark soon. What he's going to do, though, He's going to do a little bit of a drive-by of the FEMA camp, make a little bit of noise, draw out as many zombies from the camp as possible, uh, and then he's going to retreat. He's going to go back, take that right at the crossroads. It kind of ends up in the middle of nowhere, and he's just going to sleep in the cab. Come back in the morning and see what is happening. Okay, well, this, this is the zombies that are left. No more than about 50. Well, okay, there's a few more here. It looks like the fire now, with that last flame there, is now completely out. Uh, but there's nowhere near as many zombies left in the area as Brad feared. The gas station is still intact. It is time for Brad to get out of here, find somewhere safe to sleep. Oh, there's a little bit of fire. I, I bet the Spiffos is probably still on fire. Yeah, yeah, the Spiffos is gone. My apologies. My bad. The Spiffos is gone. And as long as the gas station is intact, I'll take it. I don't think the fire will spread from there. Let's get out of here for now. Let's find somewhere safe for Brad to sleep. And we'll come back in the morning and see how things look. Okay, well, Brad has made it and through the night undisturbed. It is super early and a massive, massive stroke of luck. We got uh, an anomalous storm, which normally is bad news. I mean, it's never good news, but it's really fortunate that Brad was in the cab of his vehicle when it started. He's completely protected here. Uh, you can't see it, but there is a roof on the cab. Believe me, there is. So he's not taking any damage whatsoever but before he returns to the crossroads he's going to have to wait out this storm but he was really lucky that it came when it did if he'd been far enough away from his van from his truck it could have been the end for him it really could have been okay so it's been about three hours uh, but i think the storm has finally passed let's get some more water out for brad so he's prepared for everything prepared for everything let's head back to the crossroads and see what is happening okay so we're back at the crossroads it's time for brad to do a little bit of a drive-by just to see how far spread out the zombies are there's that poor burnt down spiffos yeah there are kind of zombies spread out everywhere now brad's radiation level is back down to 92 
so we should be fit and healthy radiation is not a concern obviously we're gonna have to keep that hazmat suit back on but we have to try and round up the zombies once again maybe finish them off I don't know Molotov shotgun shotgun Molotov machete so many choices Brad is out the front of the FEMA camp it's just gonna double back now there's not that many zombies around it's kind of tempting to jump out now but actually they're starting to really stream out from that FEMA camp where were they yesterday okay well let's try and move them north back up to the crossroads we'll try and keep them together in some sort of group and then it's time for another Molotov I think okay well Brad's got another important decision to make where to leave the van I mean you can see there's actually still quite a lot of zombies around. I think Brad's done a pretty good job at drawing them up into the crossroads. So I think I'm going to drop, get out of the vehicle here. Is this far enough away? I hope so. Okay, it's time for another Molotov. Okay, well, I'm not sure that this, looking how slow uh, Brad is running, I'm not really sure. If this is a good idea, we're actually quite near uh, the truck. Let's try not to set ourselves on fire. You can see, I mean, that spiffer is probably going to go burnt down again, isn't it? You can see that um, he can't walk quicker than the zombie, so he's going to have to do a lot of running, and it is like running through treacle for him. So we're going to have to really try and take this haul down as quickly as possible. Try not to forget that we're going to have to run a lot more than walk. This is tricky. This is dangerous. Oh, I can't believe just how slowly Brad is moving. I kind of think that maybe he should get back in the truck. Uh, this is just too dangerous. We're going to have to rely on the truck. It's just so slow. I just hope there's not some zombies right outside the truck. I can't believe how slowly he's moving. Okay, we've got just the one crawler. Hopefully Brad's got enough space to get in that truck. He's ready. Get in, Brad. Oh, man. I just can't believe how slow he runs when he's got this hazmat suit on. Let's try and bring these two groups together and see, let, just let the fire do its job, I think. But again, Brad has just found it really difficult to keep the group of zombies together. That clothing store might go up. Looks like some, here's like somebody else wants to join the party, but Brad needs to make sure that that gas station doesn't go up in flames. That'll be a big loss. Oh yeah, that's that's quite a few zombies on fire. It's a good job that this truck seems to be completely indestructible. Now, how many zombies did Brad leave behind outside the camp? Okay, well the answer is... Not that many. But let's see if we can try and bring out more zombies from the camp. Brad is so slow. When it comes to moving in this hazmat suit, he wants to really do as little melee as possible. Okay, that is still another quite large group. How, who knows how many zombies there are in that FEMA camp. This is far from over. Oh wow, where the hell did this group of zombies come from? Oh no, this is bad, let's try and reverse. This is bad. They were nowhere near this amount of zombies a while back. Can we make it up the side? I think we can. Wow. That could have gone south really badly. Where the hell did they come from? And where's all the zombies on fire? Well, Brad is in control of the situation again now, but it just goes to show just how quickly things can go wrong. Where the hell is the fire we haven't lost the fire no there's the fire okay so that is all of the fire so we need to bring up that group of zombies 
get them back on fire again and let the fire, the Molotov, work its magic. How are they going to get through through that fire and get enough on fire again? We don't want it to go out now. We haven't got another Molotov. Okay, I think Brad has got this now. I think he just needs to go around in a circle around this crossroads. Hopefully, enough of the zombies will go on fire. He's a little bit close to the gas station, though. There's still a lot of work to do. Okay, well, it is taking quite a long time, but Brad's got the time. He can wait this out. He's in complete control of the situation. That didn't seem likely at several occasions, as he kind of had to make decisions on the fly as to what he was going to do, and he almost made some very bad, wrong decisions. But you can see that group is getting smaller by the minute. They are slowly succumbing to the flames. Okay, one hour later, that horde, it's a lot smaller now. It's a lot smaller, maybe just one or two more hours. Okay, well, another crazy death screen, but I can't think there are many more zombies, if any, left in the immediate area to react to that death screen. Okay, just two more zombies to go. Uh, it be interesting to see just how many zombies have been left behind in the FEMA camp. And then there was one. Uh, that was its cue to drop down dead right there. You know what? Brad is so confident that there are not many zombies in the area. Let's just finish them off. Okay, well it was foolish of Brad to be confident. Uh, there are about four or five zombies incoming. Uh, it's, it's, as long as it's not more than that, Brad's got this. Because he's really doesn't... He's not comfortable fighting in this hazmat suit. It's so slow and laboured, it's unreal. Okay, well this, uh, this is getting a little bit tricky. The zombies just keep coming in, in little bits. But as long as it is just two or three more, Brad shouldn't get overwhelmed. And especially if he can do that. That was, I was a little bit worried how quickly Brad would come up from the ground attack then. Hopefully this is the last zombie. Okay, I think that's it. Brad is confident enough, he's comfortable enough to kill the engine. Let's get over to the gas station and loot it while we got the chance. Now, can you believe all of that noise, all of that bedlam, the shouting, the shotgun, uh, the horn of the vehicle, the flames, that zombie, that one zombie, absolutely obsessed with the door. Okay, well, this is Brad's reward. He really has faced up to a massive challenge and overcome it right in the middle of a radiation zone. Huge hordes of zombies, and he's come out on top. Right now, this guy feels unstoppable. Well, not much in the way of rewards food-wise for Brad after all that effort. A couple of dehydrated meat sticks and a snow globe. Let's jump back in the truck. Let's head on down to the FEMA camp and scope it out. Well, can you believe after all this bedlam, there's another zombie. Now, before Brad goes down south to see what is left for him to do, let's just take a moment. Look at that scene of absolute devastation. Every little square pile, that is one zombie burnt to a crisp. You know what? Let's just do one more thing. Let's just check how many... Look at that. 323 zombies succumbed to fire in uh, barely 24 hours. I don't think Brad had had any... Um, fire kills before this time. Okay, we're at the FEMA camp and of course there are three zombies right there. Now we're not going to be able to drive inside. 
but let's just take out those zombies that are coming to say hi. Okay, well overall, it's gone incredibly well for Brad, so I'm expecting the zombie death screen any moment. But of course, there's another zombie. Now hopefully with all the noise, all the bedlam that's been going on just outside, it's been, a, it's been a really good job of hopefully, anyway, of drawing out a lot of the zombies from inside. But it's a big site, there could still be potentially a lot of zombies in this place. Okay, well, it is quiet. I think Brad has won. He's overcome this massive challenge. All you can hear is just the birds and the insects. Well, here we go. There's just barely just a few zombies knocking around and there's military camps, tents everywhere. Hopefully they're full of, well, just about anything and everything. Tools, weapons, food, medical supplies, guns, ammo. It's a massive site. There could potentially be enough loot here just in this one site to last Brad a lifetime. But it is getting late. He is tired. He is a nervous wreck for a change. But he will be back. He has, Brad has just done it. I mean, it was amazing. Can't wait to properly search through this FEMA camp, but that is gonna be an adventure for another day. For now, he needs to find somewhere safe to sleep. It's probably gonna be the cab again. That zombie is making a break for it, and I can't say, I can't blame him. I really hope you guys enjoyed that episode. It was bedlam for a while got a hold of the situation and he's doing just fine smash that like button comment sub if you haven't already make sure you hit that notification bell so you're kept up to date with when the next episode is and the next episode will hopefully be a loot laden one but for now that is all peace